Welcome. We will be using a Mac in Firefox for this demo. Please note that other browsers, like Safari and Chrome, have compatibility issues with EndNote. In this video, we will cover how to directly export references from the Scopus database into EndNote. EndNote allows you to conveniently store and organize all your references in one place. We recommend opening the EndNote library you wish to work with before exporting any references. Otherwise, EndNote will automatically export the references into the library you had last used, which may not be the one you wish to currently work with. First, open EndNote. If the library you wish to work with isn't already open, then go to File, Open Library, and browse for the library you wish to open. Then, click Open. If you would like to create a new library to work with, then go to File, New, in the Save As box, type the name of the new library. Click Save. Once you've completed your search in Scopus, you can either select a few references or a larger batch of references to bring into EndNote. This is called a direct export. On the results page, using the checkbox next to each result, tick off the references you want to export. Or, to export all the results, go to the top of the results and click the All checkbox. Note, the maximum number of each export is 2,000 at a time. If you have more than 2,000 references, you'll have to export the remainder in smaller batches of 200 references at a time. To do so, you will have to change the page view to 200 per page, then repeat the following steps. So then, click the Export button, a pop-up box will open, called Export Document Settings. Under the Select Your Method of Export option, click the RIS Format and Note Reference Manager option. Under the What Information Do You Want to Export, click the categories you would like to include. We recommend all of them. Select Citation Information, Bibliographical Information, Abstract and Keywords, Funding Details, and Other Information. And this ensures that additional important information, such as the abstract and name of the database, is included in your export. Then, click the Export button. A new pop-up box will appear. Under the Open With option, EndNote should appear as the default option, and then you can click the OK button. Note, if it's not there, as in this case, beside the Open With button, click Choose, and browse for the EndNote program on your computer. Select EndNote 20, then click the Open button. Once you see that EndNote is selected in the pop-up box, click the OK button. If it doesn't open up EndNote right away, then a new pop-up box will appear. In that case, under the Open With option, click Choose and browse for the EndNote library you want it to open up in. Select the library, then click the Open button. Now EndNote will open the library you had been working with earlier, and you will see the newly added references appear temporarily under the Imported References view. You will always see these references in your library by going to the left panel and clicking All References. You've now completed this video. Thanks for watching.